It is not for me to say whether it's null and void. We have to conduct an investigation, as Mr. Ramnath says, to ascertain whose responsibility it was and why this occurred. The UNC says it is exploring its options regarding the legality of Sunday's internal election. This as thousands of membership cards have been discovered at Rienzi Complex. At a press conference called on Wednesday, St. Augustine MP Vasan Barrett said the cards were found in several boxes hidden in a storeroom. He said the non-issuance of these cards may have had a direct influence on the outcome of Sunday's internal election. It would appear that there has been some fraudulent, fraudulent deliberate activity on the part of persons or a person stated a uh, um, resident at Rienzi, working at Rienzi, who over a period of the last two or three years has deliberately uh, receiving funds on behalf of the party for these membership cards uh, and not sending these cards out for whatever, for one reason or another. Noticeably absent from Wednesday's press conference was opposition leader Basdeo Pande, who had originally called the news conference but who reportedly had something else to do. Vasan Barrett apologized to the thousands who may have been denied the opportunity to vote. He said an investigation would now have to be conducted. The party is now looking at its options um, with regard to the legality of um, the elections that took place on the 24th of January. Chairman of the membership committee, Kelvin Ramnath, said the findings equally disturbed him. He wondered whether there was a deliberate attempt to subvert the election. One of the, the issues here is whether uh, the people, people whose names are on these cards um, were on the list to vote. For CNC3, I'm Roshan Sukram.